so how to import a SQL script and uh, configure restaurant point of sale SQL version SQL server version we need uh, to set up SQL server if you successfully set up your SQL server then log in to your SQL server either is SQL server authentication or Windows authentication both support my SQL server is uh, SQL server authentication so just uh, open and here see this is a database so new database and create a new database so just open your source code file click database script and here the documentation everything mentioned if you don't have been if you don't have a school server install please download from here and install here how to install uh, this two video tutorial everything mentioned how to install or download a school server so just open skill server copy the database name paste to here that's it and press o press ok and see you will have to see here this is to this is uh, our uh rest pause and just open right click again we just created this on right here again and here new query tab this is a SQL script open with notepad and um, open with notepad select all copy and paste to here after past just press this exit not this one execute button okay now press execute button okay now press execute button so you will see like this completely successfully complete uh, script so now open refresh and you will see everything here all data page and next step is this one for arabic support if you select arabic language your native language you just do it here select option and arabic this is by default latin is english arabic this one for Arabic if your language is uh, European language here everything mentioned actually so always select this one as CI AI KS WS as for example the your language is uh, French so you you should select this one okay and um, another thing i want to say if problem occur in a language issue so for example 14.98 it will appear something like that in france italy but the database is not support this one is considered this is this one considered as a character so you cannot insert uh, you cannot do your operation for this reason you just do a start menu reason search reason click here and then select again see select here reason and additional settings this one will should be comma in your system it will appear comma in your system just change to decimal okay i'll mention again when your operating system france italy romani most of the uh, portuguese uh, camera whatever this kind of language uh, 
I'll consider decimal as a comma. So just put a decimal dot, just put a dot, apply and OK. And, and then you can do your transactions like 14.89, like 14.89, OK. So now our next step is open your uh, source code to it visual studio click here and then click f.config file if you are using with visual studio if you want to run with visual studio you have to open this one unless without customization nothing just you want to run software just uh, go here see here source code uh, restroom pause bean debug and then you just open config file and you have to change here just change the the resource name but most of the time it is local or sometimes it will express dot school uh, dot slash school express most important is that uh, catalog do not change the catalog name this is a database name this one's database name and this is your uh, software school server uh, user id and password that's it but now i am running with uh, visual studio whatever uh, when you change um, in visual studio uh, if you change apps.config file it automatically change a config uh, 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 output exe dot config file it's for example if I run here and then debug success now you can see here it's automatically updated here so go back again so just put your uh, SQL data source name you can put your IP address by default IP address is 1.127 127 127.0.0.1 oh sorry my keyboard so just put 127.0.0.1 so let's start okay it's not working see this is not working so better put a local so local will be fine so it's working now see here now you can uh, open your uh, kitchen display app in separate monitor difference monitor before you cannot this is the just um, dialogues so you can also open here double monitor see is a refreshing in simultaneous time okay so it's very easy another one is uh, this is okay so this is a uh, school server authentications if you, your school server doesn't have a, a user id and password so in this case what do you want to do just do it like this just uh, this is an example you don't need this one and just uh, remove this one that's it just uh, dot backslash school express your data database name and integrated security go to true that's it you can run with uh, 
Windows authentication mode. It's also working my computer because my school data is enabled. So thank you for watching. Bye.